So a few months ago, I made a giant glowing daisy to celebrate the start of summer. And it was really fun. So today when I'm doing this, it's mid-September. So to celebrate the end of summer now, I want to make a giant glowing sunflower. Yeah, I don't really have a plan other than that. Uh, <laughs> let's go. I'm starting out with a sheet of mahogany and um, sanding this on both sides up to about a 220 grit. And this is about a quarter inch thick or so. This is gonna be heading into the laser cutter. So I'm gonna get masking material all over both sides. And my favorite masking material to use is painter's tape. And I'm gonna start laser cutting out a bunch of sunflower petals. It's gonna be a bunch of the same flower petal, but actual sunflowers are kind of roughly and irregular looking. So I wanted to make sure I had a design that when stacked would kind of look like that ruffly feel. You know, at least a little bit anyway. This is what I came up with. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. We'll see how it works. I'm gonna fill all of these flower petals with yellow resin. So I've got a plastic bag down for the mess and this is gonna take a lot of tape. I'm going in with clear resin because as is, just the tape probably won't hold in the bigger pour of liquid. So this is gonna seal the end grain and also kind of just solidify the mold. And I'm gonna let this harden overnight before going in and mixing up the bigger yellow batch of resin. I let this sit for 24 hours until it was completely hardened and then I can peel off all the tape. which took a lot longer than I showed, but that's okay. Cause now it looks a whole lot more like a sunflower and it's time to sand. I'm firstly sanding every single petal down until there's a smooth edge between the resin section and the mahogany section. So it's got a nice sleek look. And then past that, I'm sanding everything up to a 220 grit. And then it's gonna make a bunch of dust on each petal, which I'm wiping off with a dampened cloth. 
This is gonna get rid of that dust so that the finish, which comes next, lays down nicely. It's also a fun step because it gives a sneak peek of what the finished petals are gonna look like. All right, here's another trash bag and a whole bunch of finishing cones because each petal is gonna need at least three finishing cones. So you do the math, that's a lot of finishing cones. I'm using these 3D printed ones that we make in house. And then I'm going in with an Osmo hard wax oil finish. This is my favorite finish because it's really, really durable, but it's also kind of velvety matte. It's not super glossy. So for particularly for something like this that has light coming out of it, I don't want glossy finish messing with the finished effect. You know what I mean? The key is to kind of drench it and then wipe it off with a lot of pressure on a bone dry cloth. They look really good, I think. Gotta just leave them here to solidify and figure out how the heck I'm gonna make this all light up. So I 3D printed this dome. <laughs> the supports didn't work on the inside, so the inside looks really messy, but the outside looks perfect. So I don't know, we're just gonna look past that, but I have to get all these supports off of here. So the inside looks crazy still, but the outside looks really nice. And I'm spraying it with a matte black filler primer and letting this dry completely for 24 hours before going in with the metallic color that's gonna be like the finished, the finished color. All right, and now in with the lights. <laughs> These are a warm tone LED that I'm gonna wind around the 3D print. They should be able to stay in place basically just from the tension of being wound around this 3D print, but I'm also gonna tack it in place on the inside where it can hide that messiness. <laughs> you won't see any of it. I'm literally just using painter's tape for right now for this. I did switch it to duct tape so it'd be more secure, but again, it's the inside. It doesn't matter how it looks. All right, that works and I can't wait to get all the petals in now. These, for the most part, just pressure fit into the 3D printed slots, one at a time. I think it looks really cool. I'm really happy with it. It looks like a sunflower, but it also just kind of looks like the sun. I don't know, I love it. This could go on a wall, this could go on a ceiling. Pretty any time of year, but perfect way to celebrate the end of summer.